Hey everybody, it's your favorite gentleman, Marcus Dorman of Gentleman Style Podcast Show. Today you all are in for a treat. Today we're going to talk about, talk about my favorite topic, investing, and America's favorite topic, football. But not just any football. This is a unique brand of football. And I have the CEO founder on this Gentleman Style Podcast stage today. And this man is phenomenal. And he's going to spill some tea to this unique opportunity that we need to get ahead of. So stay tuned. Stay with us. Stay engaged. You won't want to miss one second of this incredible show. Here we go. Everybody, this is your boy Marcus Norman, your favorite gentleman on the Gentleman Style Podcast show. And today I have Mr. Sinem. He is the co-founder and CEO of the American Sevens Football League, founded in 2014. The A7FL is the new style of tackle football played without helmets and pads that is not only extremely entertaining, but safer for athletes as well. And he's going to break that down for us here. Mr. Cena is also a graduate of the Lee Steinberg Sports Agent Program and a certified contract advisor for the Canadian Football League. Mr. Cena graduated cum laude from the New Jersey Institute of Technology in 2008 with a bachelor's degree in computer engineering. And today he's on the Gentleman Style Podcast show. Help me welcome to the stage, Mr. Cena. Hey, thank you, Marcus. Great to be with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you gen so much for coming to the Gentleman Style Podcast stage. We appreciate you. My pleasure. Great to be here. Thanks for reaching out and happy to share the story with your audience. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, my audience has been looking forward to this, especially the football fans. And I have to say, sir, you are a prodigy. This is very unique. And I, but, but before we dive right into that, I want to ask successful people have successful habits that they do every morning. What's one routine that you do every day that sets the tone for the rest of your day that that really like is it yoga? Is it meditation? It could be anything. What sets the tone for the rest of your day? Uh, uh, well, you know, first things first, I wake up, I thank God. And uh, every day is it's a blessing just to get up and have another day to do what we do. Um, every day is a miracle. Anything can happen, especially with this league and this business. We could be going viral in the morning. We can have something uh, great, a great story about one of our athletes. Um, so it's always the first thing. Um, from there, you know, I'm meditating. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, setting myself up for the day and kind of setting my blueprint for the day and what I want to accomplish. Yep. Structure, structure, gotta have structure. Y'all Mr. Cena is phenomenal. Sir, someone who is someone you admire. It could be a professional athlete. It could be deceased or living today. Who's someone you admire? A uh, great question. Most importantly, my parents. Um, so, uh, I, I mean, a big part of why I started this business is to uh, overachieve. I wanted to go beyond where I was and I already had a successful tech company, but I wanted to do more. And A7FL was nothing but an idea and an idea. And it blossomed into this amazing platform that we're expanding across the country. Love that. Love that. And so I want to touch on that, uh, sir. You said inspired. What inspired the A7FL? What inspired you to start this company? You 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 have a phenomenal mind. You have an incredible mind. And you could do anything. You've proven it with your tech company. You could do anything you set your heart to. What inspired this movement into A7FL and the creation of this? So my partner and my good friend, uh, Ryan DePaul, uh, from childhood, we grew up playing football together. I had always kept in touch with him. And um, when I was looking for my next opportunity, believe it or not, his uh, recreational idea of football, which was seven on seven, no pads, tackle football, small town in New Jersey where we grew up, we played and I played myself. Uh, he formed into a recreational league. And out of all the business opportunities I looked at, that was a hobby. I said, wow, this could be the biggest potential. This has the biggest upside. Uh, this is something that's ripe and ready with the right leadership. And, and that's why I set about to, 
to form that partnership and we branded and created the A7FL and, and uh, we just took off from there. So that's huge. And that makes something that's unique. You said seven on seven. So traditional football has 11 players. And so what the, the what's the strategy? Are you able to touch on the strategy from going from 11 players starting to seven? Sure. So um, first off, the idea of seven on seven is very common. It's an international format. It's an American format for seven on seven flag football um, and pass football. So that being said, it's an easier game to, to get, to get pickup football going. Getting seven on seven is easier than 11. It's just simple math. Um, that was the origination of this sport of pickup football, something that you can still stay active, still um, play football, still have the brotherhood with your friends. And now we've combined that with television production and distribution across the internet um, and new partnerships that we're forming and sponsorships and the expansion, we're bringing this backyard football to the major leagues now. I'm so excited. You all are tuning in to Gentleman Style Podcast Show. We are going to go to a quick commercial break with the incredible, phenomenal Mr. Cena. Coming right back. Stay tuned. Stay with us. Stay engaged. We'll be right, right back. Support for Gentleman Style Podcast is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming champions of the world. Manscaped offers you precision engineering tools for your family jewels. Manscaped just launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right, the 4.0. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off free worldwide shipping with the code GENSTYLE at manscaped.com. Everyone, this is Marcus Norman, your boy, your favorite gentleman on Gentleman Style Podcast Show. And we have the incredible Mr. Cener, he co-founder, CEO of the new, I'm going to claim it, the new A7FL. This is the new way football. This is the new tradition. And this is the future. And if you've ever been upset, if you've ever kicked yourself, if you ever wondered, man, I missed an opportunity to invest in this company or invest in that company or invest over here. Here it is, front and center, Mr. Cena and his company. You can can actually invest here with him on his platform and invest in the future of football and that's blowing up and that's huge round of applause y'all <laughs> mr cena we have a question from our audience and gentleman style podcast show miss erica Nicole Holmes, she's a VIP sponsor of the show. Thank you for your sponsorship. But she has a question. Can someone come in and invest or be an owner of their own individual team? Both. Uh, both and, uh, and you can do both. So either or or both. Um, you can come in and invest directly in the league and own equity in the league. It's a new um, campaign. It's called Regulation Crowdfunding. Basically, anybody can invest in startup companies now. You don't have to be an accredited investor with a million dollar net worth. Now it's a fair ball game for the most part. It's, we're starting to level out the ball game uh, for anybody to be able to invest in startups. So you can invest in A7FL at startengine.com slash A7FL. And I think we'll have the link up on the, on the screen there. So the Absolutely. other side, and, and by the way, sorry, Marcus, the other side mm -hmm. of it is the ownership in divisions. And that being said, you can now own a division as we're expanding across the country in your area, in your city, in your local community, where you're going to have an awesome event. You're going to have football. You're going to have the local stars and the fans and, and start to build uh, along with the American Sevens Football League as we expand. <laughs> Yes, yes. There you go, Miss Erica. The link is at the bottom. I'm also going to put it here in the chat. So that's www.startengine.com slash A7FL. So if you ever felt like you missed an opportunity to invest in the future, here it is right here for 
plain and center. Um, I'm bringing it to you. You can invest in your very own football team. So she follows up and say, oh, really? Hmm. Send me the info. <laughs> Definitely. And anybody can get there. It's a7fl.com slash expansion. a7fl.com slash expansion. And you'll find out about our division ownership process. A7L slash expansion dot com slash expansion. So I'm gonna put that up on the big screen. I have a clip that I wanted to play, and I, I wanted to play this clip. This is from the website itself directly from Start Engine. And so I wanted to show you all what the, the story is and the passion behind these players. These players are unique and phenomenal, and they actually um, and his co-founder, Mr. Ryan, that he mentioned earlier, also speaks on this platform. So here we go. We're going to share. And we're going to talk about this unique investment. So here it is on the platform today. I'm going to bring it up on a big screen and let me know if you can or cannot hear it. I grew up in a small town called Derryville, yep. New Jersey, where I started out playing football in backyards, then in high school, and finally in college. But I had to stop playing. You can hear it? Correct. So some old teammates of mine started messing around with the idea of playing without helmets and without pads and, and starting a league. We started posting ads on Craigslist and, and my stage to organize some games and people just started showing up. We didn't have a stadium. We didn't have a field. We didn't have jerseys. Just, just a bunch of guys that love the game of football. Brian and I grew up playing football together. So after I started a successful internet company, I was looking for my next opportunity. That's when I saw what Ryan was doing with no pad tackle football, and I was hooked. So together, we created the American 7 Football League. Fast forward to today, and the A7FL is entering its seventh season. We have over 20 teams, distribution through Twitch, Facebook Watch, and now Fight and Wave TV. With over 600,000 diehard football fans that follow us on social media. And our unique brand of football combined with the NFL's huge problem with CPE has led to amazing media coverage since the very start. When I heard about the A7FL, I knew I was looking at the UFC at football, and I was 100% certain I wanted to be involved. A full contact but safer game with amazing athletes, great local rivalries, and phenomenal viral videos, it's the future of football. Now we're raising money to build A7FL a true national sports league. We want to add our production and marketing increase our ability to sell sponsorships and license our video rights, put up prize money for the players, the teams, and expand to new regions. Imagine if you could have owned part of the NFL or, or the NBA when it started. We're creating our own version of America's most popular sport and we need your help. Invest now so we can reinvent football, the game we all love together. Ooh, if that doesn't give y'all chills, I don't know what is. I don't know what to tell you. That is the future of football, y'all. If you ever, like I said, I'm going to say it again. If you ever felt like you missed an opportunity, here it is. Mr. Senior and his company front and center. You have an opportunity to invest in the future of football. So I appreciate you all, Mr. Senior. Mr. Senior, tell us, you. they talk about player safety. So you're not using pads. We're not wearing helmets. How are the players? Is this safe? Is this safe for the players? How is it safe? How are we keeping our players safe? So if you watch our games, what you'll notice is our players aren't repetitively, constantly hitting head to head like you do with helmet football, traditional football. Every single play with a helmet on, you're hitting helmet to helmet. The repetitive blows, the sub-concussive blows, they're not the knockouts. They're just head taps to head tap, helmet to helmet every single play, we eliminate that in our game simply by removing the pads and helmets. Similar to rugby now, our athlete's instinct takes over, and that is to keep their head out of the tackle. That is called risk homeostasis. It's, it's a scientific term, but basically it means when you're going into a collision, you're going to go in with the most protected part of your body, and typically you're going to keep your head out of that equation. Um, that alone is a huge aspect of our sport. That's what gets everybody hooked. But then we have no kicking in our game. We throw the ball off. We have a special three-on-one special teams. It's the most exciting play in football. 
Um, it's amazing. One guy's receiving and three are on the throwing team. So he's either going to return it or it's going to be a huge hit. And, um, and then we have a few other key rules. Our quarterback does a self snap. He doesn't take an exchange from the center. So that's eliminating one exchange, making it more faster paced. Uh, so a lot of things add up together, including the seven on seven alone, where it's less men on the field, less total body weight on the game, um, on, on the, in the game at any given time. Finally, we're shrinking the width of the field because we're going from 11 on 11 to seven on seven. Accordingly, we're shrinking the width, but the length remains the same. Perfect, 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 perfect. And so thank you for touching on that. That's important, right? We want to keep our players safe. Where are you scouting? Where are we recruiting the players from? Where do the players come from? Are they, where do we recruit from? A lot of our players, so first off, have to be 18 and older. They're coming straight out of high school. They're, um, they're either playing in college and then having to stop playing for various reasons, um, uh, aspiring to play at a higher level and, and for various reasons, um, having to, 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 to get off of that path and, 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 and move in a different direction. But they still... And our athletes are amazing athletes, but they still have the passion for football. They still want to play. They still want the brotherhood of being on the team. And the key difference between the A7FL and any other league out there um, is really how popular we are. It's our exposure. And you're able to be on Sports Center. You're able to be on Bleacher Report and Barstool Sports in our highlights. And then we're on TV through our various partnerships and um, and all across the internet. So it's a it's a you know a, a perfect recipe for telling the story of these. These are our American idols of football. Love it, love it, love it. Miss Erica Holmes, you can tell she loves football, y'all. She could. She's super in sports. She came back with a follow-up question. What's missing? So we reduced from eleven to seven. I think that's what she's touching on. What's missing? The corners, the wide receivers. What are the positions? Uh, you have a few less linemen, uh, so you're you're uh, you're still going to have a running back. Your um, your receivers. You're going to have a minimum of, I believe, it's three down linemen on offense. And uh, defense has no requirement of, of down linemen. And so not much missing. Uh, all of the action positions are there. We don't have a center for, for the most part, like I said, on offense, because our quarterback self-snaps. So he's throwing. There's no oh, kickoff. The way, then. No, no kicking, no punting. So you're not going to have a kicker or a punter. But if they have a good arm, they could be doing the throw off. <laughs> There you go, Miss Erica. I hope that answers your question. So she's on fire today. So she follows. Have you implemented technology into the leagues? I guess that because you have a tech background and you have your tech company. Or how have you integrated technology into the leagues? Great question. So that was one of the first things that we set about doing. We implemented the athlete intelligence biometric mouth guard. One of the first things we did was a study with our athletes and my alma mater, uh, the New Jersey Institute of Technology. So I went to them and I said, listen, we need to do a study on football. We'll be the first ones to do it with no pads, tackle football. Nobody's done a study to this date in no pads, tackle football. It's unbelievable. Of all the money that's been spent on CTE research, nobody can get past. There's the gap between flag football and helmet traditional football and we solved it and we were the first to do the study and it shows we elevate the safety of our athletes with our sport it's amazing 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 great question miss erica this is huge this is phenomenal again this is the future of football y'all if you were ever upset if you were ever kicking yourself because man it's like if you saw the jay-z's of the world and beyonce's owning the red Sox and whoever this is your opportunity to get in ground level and invest in the future of football you don't want to miss this opportunity we have one more commercial break we'll be right right back stay tuned stay with us we'll be right right back good day podcast listeners this is your boy marcus norman of gentleman style podcast show i wanted to let you guys know that we will be rolling out a new feature and adding a join sponsor button next to the subscriber button here at the bottom of your screen once you click the button it will display three membership levels gentlemen gentry which is our entry level 
Duke Duchess, which is our season level, and the Emperor and Empress, which is our most sophisticated level, which you will receive unique perks and benefits at each differing level and gain access to our community tab. We will also be sharing polls, upcoming events, and interviews, as well as receive feedback from our sponsors directly. Your support helps me find new and exciting guests to bring to the stage live. Well, in order to get the higher end speakers, it requires, well, some, you guessed it, money. So thank you for tuning in to my channel. And if becoming a sponsor sounds good to you, then select the join button below and choose your desired sponsor level. Let's continue to grow and serve the future of generations of men and women to come. Love you guys. Bye. Hey everybody, we are back to the Gentleman Style Podcast stage. Your favorite gentleman, Marcus Norman, and Mr. Senior, CEO, co-founder of A7L FL, the American Sevens League of Football, the future of football. Round of applause, y'all. <laughs> powerful, powerful, powerful. So, Mr. Senior, uh, how many teams are there? I wanted to ask this question. How many teams total do you, do, do you have currently? We have 20 teams in four divisions. That's a total of 500 athletes, um, a little more between five and 600 this season who are playing. And um, and those uh, guys are split between four divisions. Like I said, Orlando, San Diego, Baltimore, and Central New Jersey. Ooh, and growing. We are yeah. growing. 600,000 followers. Sir, this is the opportunity to get on the ground level, y'all. So- Great question. She stole my question. She's putting me out of work. She's fired. She's getting me fired, y'all. I'm going to get fired. But Miss Erica Holmes, follow up. What is the minimum investment? And I'm going to help Mr. Mr. Senior out. And I'm going to bring this up on a big screen so y'all can see the Thanks. platform on this stage. So um, because I have to protect my guests, he has he's also regulated. He has, he has followed the rules. He's CC regulated. So I'm going to bring it up on a big screen here so y'all can see um the, what it looks like on a platform so sir go ahead break this down sure so you'll go to startengine.com slash a7fl and um, and you'll be able to find out all about this investment campaign what the minimum investment is how many have invested in us so far and um and how much we've raised so that being said we've raised um um, just about five hundred thousand dollars now, four hundred and fifty thousand, um, and and we have over uh, just about seven hundred investors. I think it might be six hundred and ninety something right now, all across the country. Um, everybody from the minimum investment to a little bit higher. Uh, as it gets higher, we have different levels of perks for our investors, and that that's our campaign page right there. And um, and so. Um, of course, we are grateful for anybody uh, who invests in our campaign. Um, they'll be on our mailing list and receive all of the information as we move forward. So startengine.com slash A7FL, and, um, and you should be sure to check it out. It's a chance to own equity and shares in our league. Um, so it's, you know, we think we're the one of the only football leagues right now who have um, an investment campaign going on. Yep. There you have it, y'all. There you have it. So startengine.com. Mr. Sick Senior brought that down, brought that to us. He's giving you an opportunity to invest. And I'm gonna put it up back up on the big screen here, sir. Sir, what's the goal? What's the plan? What's the goal for the company? Do you do you plan on on what do you need? What right? What do we, what do we need? Are we trying to grow to um expand overseas or anything like that? A great question. So first off, we're expanding across the USA. We anticipate we'll have four new divisions in 2022. So we'll be going from four divisions to eight divisions, potentially, um, and obviously from about five or 600 athletes to doubling that, um, possibly quadrupling that. Um, we feel we're going to have a huge turnout as we start to sell our divisions and sell the rights to these new divisions in places like Los Angeles, Las Vegas. Um, Texas is obviously on the map um, and a hot spot. 
Um, so anybody right now can also be involved in division ownership. Go to a7fl.com slash expansion. This is the chance. This is a small window of opportunity. It's only once in a lifetime. Between now and the next season, we'll have announced our new ownership, and we plan to do that by our championship on July 18th. That's A7F, A7FL.com slash expansion, y'all. Tune in, get connected. You guys don't want to miss this every opportunity. And she, Erica comes back. Did you say Chicago? Uh, Chicago is one of our hot spots. We have uh, interest all over the country. And now it's a matter of putting in an application and taking the action to move it forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. There you go. So I got to ask a stupid question because 2020 was a tumultuous year. It was crazy. Pandemic, recession, money all over the place. How has COVID-19 affected, if if at all, how has COVID-19 affected um, the A7FL? For us, it, in a large way, it was a blessing in disguise. And and, it, and I realize it uh, for others, it, it was a terrible devastation. Um for us, we were able to continue playing football. We were the first football league back in action during the pandemic. And uh, I, I challenge anybody to to um, to challenge us on that. <laughs> so that, <laughs> that being said, it strengthened our league. We were able to put on our production, put on our games, put on the season during the pandemic with COVID testing and through the uh, and grateful through the support of our sponsor, Salis and Oz Technologies, who provided not only the COVID testing solution and the mobile apps to track and manage everything, but also the actual tests themselves. Um, so it strengthened the league. We proved we could put on football even in the midst of the onstage of the pandemic. And in 2021, we're, um, we're that much stronger for it. There is not, there's nothing stopping this train, y'all. This train is going full steam ahead. Miss Erica, so can you, you said it earlier, can you repeat one more time? What's the minimum investment? And, and is there a maximum investment? The minimum is a few hundred dollars. It's 375 and the maximum, uh, there is no maximum. Um, so, yeah. Woo! The sky is the limit, y'all. Three hundred. So I'm thinking this was a, like thousands of dollars. I thought I was gonna have to have Jay Z money, right? I don't have Jay Z money right now, but I'm working on it. But three hundred and seventy five dollars minimum to get in this investment, to get in the game. Literally, I wasn't trying to do that. That was that came out just perfectly though. Minimum to get in the game, sir. How can we connect with you? How can we follow suit with you? How can we get on board this train? Sure. So um, first off, a7fl.com. You can read all about our players. You can see the highlights, all the latest news and stories and catch the schedule and our venues to actually show up at a game. You could buy uh, tickets still at this point, um, whether online or at the venue. And, um, and of course, if you're a sponsor, a corporation, you'd like to get involved in supporting the league and having your product in the league. Once again, at a7fl.com. The investment campaign, startengine.com slash a7fl. And then when it comes to division ownership, as we expand across the country, the link that you just had, a7fl.com slash expansion. Powerful. Boom. If I, if I could give him a mic so he could drop it right now, I would. I, I wish I could give him a mic. So there you have it, y'all. Here's the opportunity. Here's the game changer. So, Mr. Sinner, sir, I'm going to leave this up on a big screen. Sir, Mr. Sinner, thank you for what you do. Thank you for bringing this opportunity because that's what this is. Thank you for bringing this opportunity to the platform and bringing it to the people so we can get involved and get in the game. I appreciate you. I want to say this to you publicly. Please don't ever give up. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate that. And I echo that. Don't give up. Failure is not an option. If you fail, feel, make it seem like you're going to die. And, and then you're going to find a way to succeed. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you for that, sir. I will. I won't give up as long as there's breath in this body. And as long as I'm pushing forward and longer, there are people that inspire and believe in me like you would like you what you do. I'm going to keep pushing, sir. Thank you for what you do. 
Awesome. Take care. Thank you. Yes, sir. And thank you all, my audience, for tuning into the Gentleman Style Platform stage. I hope this message has served you. I hope this helps. I hope this brings a light to your day and gives you an opportunity to see the future of football. So like I end every show, take care of your families, take care of your friends, and take care care of business this is marcus norman of gentleman style podcast show and mr senior of a7l ceo co-founder of the future of football thank you <laughs>